minutes. Today I'm going to be talking about creating a very simple event registration form using Google Forms. And this works whether you're using a Windows, a Mac, or a Chromebook. A uh, quick disclaimer, what you see here may look a little bit different for you because Google is constantly updating its software and also you are responsible for following terms and rules set up by Google as well as any uh, local re uh, regulations that may apply here. So uh, we're going to get started in Google Drive. This is Google Chrome browser. I always recommend using that whether you're on Windows or a Mac. Um, the reason why is because Google designs Chrome to work with all of its software and we will be using a program called Google Forms. To, there's a couple places you can go to get started with this, but what we're going to do is go to New in Google Drive, click on that, then select More, Google Forms, uh, hover over the arrow, and then select From a Template. And the great thing about this is Google has actually created a template gallery uh, with all kinds of very easy forms that you can just whip out and start using right away. And they fortunately have an event registration uh, template. So we're going to click on that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do some basic customizations of this. Let me blow this up so it's a little bit easier to see. And you can see that they've already plugged in some things to it. So like this looks like a picture at some fancy museum or something. Um, you, can change, you can change all of these things later on. Uh, as I've said in other videos, there's customization options for uh, the theme and, and, other, and other things. But what we're going to do is just take the basic event registration uh, forms that they have here. Maybe change them a little bit and then I can show you what the results are. So just for the sake of this exercise, if you want to, you can, you can keep this or you can change it. So this is obviously in the past. So let's, let's set this for sometime in the future. Um, of course, you'd update the city, the, uh, the state, the zip code, and then you could put some contact information there. It's very important to add contact information when events are involved because uh, people may have questions either about the form or the event itself and you wanna be able to answer that quickly. So. Uh, Google has set up set this up so there are um, a, a couple very simple fields to gather information. What I actually did when I created a test form earlier this evening is I, I is I split the the name up into first name, and you can see Google already has a short answer. Um, they make it required. I recommend this, and then I added a second one, add question using the plus icon, and then I just type last name. Google already figured out it's gonna be a short answer. Now here you can see that the toggle for required is it's not required. So we're gonna make that required. So just click it and it will toggle. Email address, um, Google will actually check to make sure that the email address is a legitimately formed email. It won't see if the email is a real email address, but it will make sure that it looks like an email address, like you know John Smith 33 at uh, gmail.com organization. So if you were doing this for, uh, you know, another type of uh, thing, you might, you might clarify what that is. So you could say like organization or school. Okay. You make that required. You maybe make this a little bit longer if you're, if people might be giving more information there. Now this is important days you will attend. So the way that Google sets Google Forms sets up questions, if it has a multiple choice answer like this or multiple check boxes, so like let's say I could select day one and day three, it will present those all in the same field. And one issue with that is if you if you uh, view your Google Form responses in a Google Sheet spreadsheet, everything will be crowded on, into one field, and that can be problematic. So what I would do here is actually just change this to. Um, multiple choice, and then will you attend day one? Okay, and let's get rid of these, just X out of them to get rid of them. So I'm gonna say yes or no, or you can add other two, okay? Um, and then what I would do is I would uh, duplicate this. We have to do another one here. So will you attend day two? And I'll show you why this is important in a little bit. Um, I'm gonna add the suggestions. So you, so you can go through and do that, and then maybe just do another one. Will, <laughs> it's getting kind of tiresome, will you attend day three? And then add all there, okay. And also, of course, uh, I strongly recommend making these required. The first one is, so just check to make sure that it, it works Okay, that's required. 
so if you were have if you're serving meals there, of course this is a good this is a good question to have. Um, if not, you can just take take this out, and the way you take it out is by hovering over it and then selecting the garbage can icon. So let's say that I was not planning on doing meals; people have to bring their own meal. And then finally, I understand that I will have to pay, you know, dollar sign upon arrival. So you can change that to like one hundred dollars upon arrival. Now, one thing one thing you should know about this: this is not a credit card form. This is just ask. This is just a very simple way for people for an event organizer. Uh, to just to throw something up on the web and to see if people are going and then let them know that, hey, you have to pay some reg a registration fee when you arrive. And, you know, I'm not going to get into credit card charge forms here. It's a complicated topic in an, as, you know, it's not integrated with Google Forms, at least not yet. So um, this, is, but this is an important question because you want to make sure people understand that. Okay, so we've done our form here. Maybe we could just do a little bit of customization. Um, image uploaded, like if I had another image, I might replace that. Uh, choose image. So actually, I, I, actually, they have all kinds of crazy images you can use. Um, let's see if I can do one. I actually had a good image before, and it was called Taj Mahal. Taj Mahal. Let's see if I can find it. Yeah, here it is. This is a, this is a, uh, by the way, if you're using images, you should have permission to use it. So this is a Creative Commons image. So I'm just going to put that right there and click done. Okay, that looks pretty grand. And then it, it worked it in there. And also, it actually changed the color too. You can also change the font style. All right, if you want to make it look fancy, you could do that. The problem is sometimes they're hard to read. So I'm just going to keep it basic. All right, so we're ready to go. And basically, to share this, what you would do is click send. Um, the send form, there's a couple different options. One is to send it by email, and you could start typing in people's email addresses. Um, the, other, the other way that I often do it is to sh share a link, and I'll go back to this in a second. And then this means you can embed it on a website. And I have a separate video that shows you just how to do that. So let's just do the link version. It gives you a, a Google Forms link. You can shorten it. And the, the reason to do so is so you can uh, easily put it into social media or share it via email. So I, I just uh, copied that. All right, and let's take a look at what it looks, let's see what it looks like. So I'm going to paste it in here and see what happens. I always, okay, so here's right away, you know, I always recommend testing things. And this form can only be used by users in the owner's organization. This is actually a common, er let me bl blow that up so you can see it. This is actually a common error message if you belong to a school or a business and you're using uh, Google Apps through that, including Google Forms. So what you have to do is you actually have to go back there and um, change the permissions. So this might be taking a look at the settings. All right, so here's the setting that's causing the problem. Restrict to users in i30 Media Corporation and its trusted organization. So you wanna uncheck that, okay? Um, you also may wanna remove the ability so res of respondents to edit it after submitting it. Regardless, change, make those changes. You can, you can uh, generate a link again, let's do that. And let's see, let's see if we can get a better result here. Okay, here it is. So this is what it looks like in a different browser. This is what my users would see. And they would go through, they would type their information, and then um, you'd get the results. Now, one thing I, want, I said, I promised I was gonna show you what happens when, uh, the respond, when you, know, you set up the form and it's not really what you, what you expected. This is a similar form I set up earlier. And what I tried to do was, I said, what days will you attend? And I put 9, 11, lunch session, 1 to 3, 3.30 3 to 5, and the awards dinner. And I, I really didn't think this through, but, but I saw the problem when I started to look at it here in Google Sheets. And of course, you can look at your results in Google Sheets, which is a spreadsheet program. So here's my test entry. And you can see, what days will you attend? And, and first of all, I said, what days you will attend, but it should have been, what times will you attend? And then these, these, this information here, it's all crowded into the same, into the same cell. And also, some of it looks like a date. 9-11 looks like September 11th. 1-3 uh, could be, you know, January 3rd or uh, March the 1st, depending on where you're from. So, you know, this would, this would be a case where you'd want to, where you'd want to edit your spreadsheet to make sure, uh, sorry, edit your form to make sure that it's clear to the people that you're sending it out to. Uh, for more information on how to get the most out of Google Forms, I cover it briefly in Google Drive and Docs in 30 minutes, but also I cover it ex pretty extensively in my videos, which are right on YouTube. So uh, look around on my YouTube channel. Please subscribe or like this video if, uh, if you felt that it helped you out. 
and uh, I hope to see you again soon.